Hey, well, hello there. This is Bakari with Mac Automation Tips. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Hey, in today's episode, I'm going to focus in on a series that I'm starting for Mac users who are new to Mac automation. So if you're kind of familiar with Mac automation tools already, you might want to check out my other videos, more advanced videos, uh, by clicking that button above. But this particular video is just going to be like for people who don't really use, I'm not making use of, Mac automation on their Mac. So in this this particular episode, I'm focusing on what's called smart mailboxes. And if you don't know what smart mailboxes are, you definitely should watch this video because you're really not using Apple Mail to its fullest extent. So open up your Apple Mail and let's get started with this short tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Mail, and um, basically in Mail you have two types of folders. You have the regular folders in which you can select uh, emails and just drip, you know manually drag them in there. But what smart mailboxes do is that they collect and they filter and collect uh, emails based upon rules you set up, and it's really pretty easy to do. So let me give an example. I have one uh, smart mailbox here that collects all the emails from my Mac Automation Tips Gmail account, right? And so it just collects those and it does it for me because it's based on a rule here. Let me show you how I set that up. So I'm going to select an email here, one that I want to kind of base the rule on, right? And then I'm going to go into the menu bar and uh, mail menu bar and go to mailbox, new smart mailbox right here. And you'll see that it opens up with the email address that I want to base the rule on. So you can, you know, is this from here and it contains, or you can put uh, is equal to the other, you know, here's other choices you can use, and then the email address. This is the most important thing right here. And then here you also have rules for if you want to base the base the uh, the, the 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 smart mailbox on the subject or the subject line or the recipient or the entire message. But we're just going to stick with the email address. So then we're going to give it a title. All right. Now we have a title and you can also include if you want um, emails that were sent to uh, this address or emails from this address that are still in the trash. It's up to you. So once you do that, you just click OK. Right. And you'll see that you have what it's done is filtered and captured all those emails from that particular address. Now let's go back to it and you can see you can do some more with it. Uh, see, we're going to right click on this. My computer is acting a little bit slow right now. All right, so we're edit here. Now, so when we go back to here, you notice you have this plus sign right here, and you can add more criteria to the rule. So we'll click this one here, and you can say, for example, you want to create a rule in which um, the you know the the date received is in the last seven days or the last week. All right. So in that sense here. It will it will narrow the filtering in the search uh, just for from this address to the last seven days. And you notice when I click on OK, then it only gives me these two things right here. So you can create um, smart mailboxes that way very, very easy. Now, there's another thing that uh, Apple Mail does. And then you can create what's called smart rules. These are kind of different from smart mailboxes. And so let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go into the um, menu bar again. And you're going to go to preferences in there. And what's going to do is open up. And you'll see here I have outbox rules and act on rules. Well, ignore those because those belong to a plugin that I use. So you probably won't have that in your, um, in, in your Apple Mail. But you will have inbox mail, uh, rules here. And so this means that you can set up rules to act on emails as they come in. So you're not really creating a smart mailbox. What you're doing is you're creating rules to act on e certain type of emails. So we're going to go here and add an email, right? And then we're going to give it a title. We'll get the same one here. Now notice here I don't have the email address in there because I didn't select um, an email at the time. But we'll just put in... Um, the first part of it. So we'll say that any emails that contain, you know, these words or this this uh, configuration, these words here, right? Well, you you're going to filter it, filter those emails. And then next, though, we want to have it perform a particular action. This is where it's a little bit different here. So you can have it move these either those emails to a particular uh, mail up 
particular folder so, so maybe you create a folder for all your Mac automation tips and you want to have more to that folder well that's kind of the same thing as a smart mailbox but for example maybe I want to have um, the all those emails from that address right marked as immediately read so that when I go to my inbox I don't have to click on it to make it red you know make it red there basically already you know the the rules does it for me so that's another way that you can add and do other things with kind of the smart automation in Apple Mail now there's a lot of other uh, criteria that you can use you can have the, the message uh, copy to another folder if you want to make a copy of it uh, say for example you want to um, have um, you want to make sure that you get a, a kind of a notice uh, notification um, or a yeah, notification when a certain email arrives. So maybe you want to have the, the mail icon in the dock bounce up and down when a particular email comes from a particular address or that it sends the notifications that, you know, as you're working. Um, you can even set up an automatic reply to an email that has a particular subject or a particular, um, uh, you know, uh, particular things inside the message. Um, you can forward a, an email that has an attachment you can do all sorts of things uh, with this and once you get it set up you will begin to see that uh, you know Apple Mail just kind of takes over and manages a lot of your emails for you I'm not saying that it solves all your particular problems with mail but it does do that and that's one of the reasons why I stick with Apple Mail is because of the smart mailboxes and the rules there are other good third-party uh, mail applications out there but this one here is the reason why I stay with Apple Mail so look if you like this uh, particular video if you like this particular you know type of uh, um, if you like this particular playlist of videos I'm going to create for people that are new to Mac automation definitely give me a like uh, down below and follow my channel because um, I'm going to be creating more videos like this for people who are new to Mac automation so thanks again for watching and really appreciate it